so awesome. We're back at it here again, meeting up again to talk about the album. We are, I told Soleil that I wanted to meet with her um, to discuss the album because um, we had kind of like released it when we were both in different parts of the world. And um, we didn't have a chance to do like much, I guess, content and different things around it, more so just like put the music out. Exactly. And it's like... Um, we're catching up. Catching up, <laughs> exactly. So uh, the album, Love, Sounds, and Robots, here's uh, the, the vinyl of it. Uh... <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a, it's a real beauty, to be honest. Um, yeah. Them there. Oh, we have it. We're showing the people. Full vinyl. That's the yeah, the front sleeve and that's the back sleeve over there. With one, the, let us know. With the track list, yeah, we're gonna be dropping that um, and making it available for the people, definitely. Um, if you're a vinyl, you know, a vinyl freak, kind of like we are. <laughs> right. It's a it's a good good catch there, but um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to Soleil about the the album. See you know what her thoughts have been on it um see if they match my thoughts and kind of like go go over it and talk a little bit more about the songs and whatnot so um with that being said i hope you guys enjoy enjoy it and um get some more insight into the whole thing into the whole process the whole album creation and yeah so i don't know tell me what you feel so far about the the album has it met your expectations or you know whatever you want to tell me so this album just means a lot to me in general because uh branched out into something new right like a new genre and we worked a long time for to complete these songs and you know we have a great process of working together i love to see the album come to life when it came to just choosing the songs and things like that and intentionally trying to write about things other than love and relationships mm. you know i really enjoyed challenging ourselves to do that um i'm happy with how the album is performing i want to listen to it you know i listen to it i enjoy it i'm i'm impressed with our work i'm really proud of ourselves um because it took a lot to do this and you know you, you brought me to the dance side and now uh <laughs> i don't know i might fit here <laughs> yeah you definitely fit there we we love to have you there um how do I, you feel about it i feel great to be completely honest i was so excited to put the album out for a while as you know like coming up with the concepts trying to figure out how we could right. put together all these songs we had because we had we had like oof, probably like 12 songs or something like that and um i was trying to figure out at some point like how can we like make this a piece of work like to fit all together and kind of took me a while to like just trying to brainstorm up a concept or something but i knew i wanted to be an album like i knew that i wanted to be uh like a, a project and it definitely deserved to be a project um and yeah that's I feel I feel great to be honest. I love the songs as well. I really, really do, and I love the the way that the project came together. So, um, what's cool about it, so everyone knows who's watching, is it's called Love Sounds and Robots. I know you mentioned about writing songs that are not exclu exclusively about love and relationships and whatnot, but there are a couple in the album. Yeah, of course. Because it's you know there's a reason why people write about love right <laughs> right and i mean some of i'm sure we'll talk about this i would love to talk about this but like some of the songs are can be interpreted as if they were about love mm -hmm. yeah definitely but it, it wasn't our intention in writing them that way so it's True. cool that they have like kind of this double if, if we didn't tell you yeah maybe you wouldn't know what it was really about that's true it's it kind of like disguises i, I guess it kind of disguises a little bit this guy says a little bit um but yeah there's some cool songs that are uh not about like not about love but you could hear it and be like no this is definitely about love but listen i want to with that being said i want to say something super super important that i've learned about music like putting it out and through time once you put it out and it's out there it's no longer yours it's of the world and they can interpret it however they want to interpret it so 
Um, right. Because art is something that makes you feel. Correct. You know? And if, if, it make, if it makes you feel, it's for you. Exactly. So you may have a completely different meaning of the song than what we had. And that's totally fine. That's actually a good thing. Better. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, great. yeah. Yeah. We have our own, you know, interpretations of of the song and how we wrote it and what it meant to us. But if you, you know, interpret it differently and it makes sense to you, by all means, it's it's all yours, you know, like do do as you wish with it and have make it have meaning to yourself. So because you're going to be creating memories with it, which is what we hope you do. Um, so, yeah, so I was saying love sounds and robots. Um, love is one of the you know elements in in some of these songs um the sounds part is obviously the music part and the cool thing about it is that coming up with the concept and everything like that i noticed that we had experimented in the dance genre like in the electronic dance genre right we had experimented with sub genres so each song basically is a completely different uh E like EDM subgenre and I wanna so that's the part of the sounds I'll get into into that in, in a little bit and then the robot is another cool part uh do you want to explain them explain to them about the robot part the robots is <laughs> the way that we came up with some of the concepts uh for the artwork and um yeah we like AI over here <laughs> Uh, I'm a tech girl outside of my out of my music life, and um, that's where that came from. Yeah. So that at the beginning of 2023, there was like a kind of like a boom with AI, especially in the, I guess in the art world, um, it was being used a lot. Right. By... NFTs, the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now they're like worthless. <laughs> well, I don't know if well NFTs you said right NFTs. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, like their value has significantly yeah, yeah, dropped, yeah, yeah, but that's yeah, yeah. a whole other conversation. Let's yeah. keep it to the music. Yeah, that's that's completely <laughs> different. But what we saw was um, like an uprise in these platforms that would let you generate images that were non-existent before, based on descriptions that you would put. And well, we saw that, and we we're like, some images were insane. So we decided to put out some singles first with these like and use as a cover art these generated ai generated images yep and they were sick to be honest like the the single cover art for um loving is easy mm -hmm. is is super sick that's like i forget what what the actual input i i put to have that generated is but it was like in the style of salvador dali mm -hmm. and it threw and we kind of like kept gosh. going with that yeah yeah so the first one it Until was like we got to this <laughs> Yeah, that's that. This was you definitely made the input yeah. for that one, um, for the actual cover, which is sick. I it reminds me of Mortal Kombat, big time. Do you know how how this came about? So I was like trying to figure out the what the concept could be, you know, for the actual album art, and I was I forgot who I was talking to, but they were like they need a hat because like you always wear a hat. So I think really? I I I put like a picture of a one of the big rimmed hats that I wear. And she came out. That's insane. So <laughs> you fed it a picture. I fed it text. And then, you know, I was getting different versions. And at some point, I uh -huh. had some version of this. But there, there was something on our... It was, might have been a helmet or something. It wasn't this. Uh -huh. And they are like, try like a one of the big room hats. And um, I inputted as well, like a photo of the hat with yeah. one of these renderings. Mm -hmm. And it brought them together. It's so sick. Like when, when you sent it to me, I was like... Nah, it's definitely definitely super fire um and that's the the cover art for the album it started like i said with the loving is easy i forget the input it was in the style of salvador dali um and the the ai generator popped out something insane and we just kept going with it um i think uh the strangers, strangers one you, you did it too as well yeah. which was super cool too i i loved the way that both of the people that came up there the way it was shown was like this this i don't know what the style of the art was but i think i, I kept it in similar style because i think yeah. i was asking you like what did you input i tried to keep a similar style similar yeah patterns like similar line shapes and stuff uh-huh um i don't remember i think the idea was just like two people you know back to back yeah like, like facing away from each other so sick um 
then the solo lover was cute. <laughs> yeah, the, we had a few iterations robot. of that one. <laughs> yeah, but the, the robot... You finished like, that one off, though, man. Yeah. It was, that was good. It was cool. Um, so, yeah, that's the robot part. And then, yeah, the, the sound, we explored uh, different subgenres. Uh, and, like, that's the reason why it's love, love Sounds and Robots. So, with all that being said, I'm curious to know which of, like, those... Uh, like of out of all the eight songs that we did which one was your i guess which one is your current favorite one in general like just favorite to listen to my current favorite is zodiac oh yeah that's my current favorite <laughs> okay that's uh, but my most favorite is strangers yeah that's a good one that one just connects to me on a different level because it's very there's a lot of r&b in it um and um it was like it was heartfelt Definitely. so i that one was like it was based on some life events mm -hmm. and i feel like that one came out like really easily you know when, like we were writing remember, that yeah. one you were yeah. like yeah let's write about it i was like okay and then like strangers <laughs> came out so. yeah I, actually that's cool because i remember like when we were making the song that one was one of the 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 few of the the, the eight ones that i didn't have the whole beat pre-made I just had like this rough idea, very rough, super, just like, I guess, some chords, a guitar, and the concept of a drum and bass background on it. Like, it was definitely uh, a draft there, but you gravitated towards it. Like, I remember that you liked it. And I was like, interesting, because it does have, it does have like a good melody or, or like background uh, type of thing. And then when you said that this had happened to you and you wanted to write, I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> hell That's yeah. The one. And it was it was super cool actually. Like and the the lyrics are very I've seen a lot of people resonate with it as well. Mm -hmm. In general, like just the whole vibe of calling it strangers and having it something start and go full cir full circle. Starting something as strangers, then not being and then going all the way down to yep, the exiting. whole life cycle of like meeting somebody having whatever experience you have with them good bad ugly and then kind of just ending it but also like releasing accepting like with love with peace like hey it just is it's just boundaries and like you yeah. know now now we're strangers again and it's um yeah i feel like that happens to everyone right we all lose like relationships in our lives and uh we become strangers so that's definitely what i was happening what i was going through at the time no i i love that song i love it and i love when we perform it live too uh it's a it's a super interesting one because it can be easily performed just acoustically yeah a, a guitar and you sing it or it can be a complete like craziness like we did on the on the um, uh breaking sound mm -hmm. breaking sound show yep um so that one's definitely super yeah. fun and i also like that one because i sing and i rap in it that's true so and i love the I rap also part. Do all these like <laughs> harmonies and stuff i think it just shows a lot of kind of i think what i'm capable of and you know what i can do with my voice and, and yeah. the various ways that i can express it uh -huh. along with you know your like amazing production it just fits very well it's just totally my vibe yeah yeah with the production um I love like meshing the R&B and the drum and bass vibes. That was definitely super cool. But the explosion at the end <laughs> is so I mean, it, I, I remember I, you text me. It's like, yeah, I went a little crazy at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I hope you like it. <laughs> Cause let me tell you, that was risky. That was risky just to like have a, such a pretty song, even though it's drum and bass is still pretty. And it was like minimal in a way all throughout the, ver the intro verse chorus, second verse chorus. And then I said, you know what? I just want to like go a little crazy at the end. I want to add a little spice to it. Yep. And there was only one thing I asked him to change, which was it was like that there was a sound that you put in there. It sounded like a phone ringing. Or like, oh yeah, I I won't forget it. <laughs> I was like, dude, Yo. this is this is crazy. Like this, is, you have crazy yeah. skills, but yeah, yeah. you got to take that sound out. <laughs> so so that's so funny. Um, to to my like producer geeks that are, that are watching this um basically what i did was the lead sound i had added like a, i think it was a crist like crystallizer or some plugging that just like adds extra echoes to the to the actual lead sound and i went there was like i think it was a preset on that on that vst 
and it made it go like insane on the on the on the echoes but it was like super fast so that echo going super fast ended up sounding kind of like a telephone ringing like and it was it was towards the end and it was just like too much i i totally get it that was that was, that was crazy to be honest but um the song is amazing and it was super well received it was one of the singles for yep. sure yep that's cool um love that one let me see so and then your current favorite one is uh zodiac zodiac what's yours mine is my my current and and it's been my favorite one is uh solo know, lover oh yeah. i was gonna say complicated i thought that was your Oof. favorite i mean i do like that one i think complicated is my second one but so i mean solo lover is awesome yeah. i was listening to it today i was like what nice vibe like what nice it's so pretty right playing and like so tropical but like mediterranean yeah. and just just like makes you feel good it's just like a feel good song it it's perfect to me it's like the way what you sang what you sang on it and how you come in and the verses um was was like perfect to the instrumental that that was made you know it's the, and that's what i love when a song can like mesh in that way both the vocalist and the production matches perfectly that one i feel like it does it to me so i was already super enamored by the beat when i had made it like the instrumental i was like oh this this intro piano this like yeah tropical vibes the tempo was right it's like 114 so it's like it's still bopping at, like with the four on the floor but it's not like like for example 125 type of thing with like complicated which is like more edm ish yeah. it's like slower but it still has that groove it has that bass line going like super nice it's a sunday song yeah yeah so <laughs> so when i showed it to you and you started singing that like the the verse i was like hell yeah let's record this um and it just ended up being such like so it, it sounds so nice to my ears i love it every time it comes up and then the cool part well, for me, like instrumental wise, is that on the outro, we, we like I added an acid line to oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. See, see, that that's one. like, that's like my production, like craziness. Sometimes I'd be, I'd be doing, I'd be doing extra shit, but. And he goes in, he means. Yeah. And he's able to mix all of his genres into one amazing sound. Well, that, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That, <laughs> um, that one, that's insane because. I've definitely d overdone it before um, and some other stuff, um, but I've learned and I'm every day I'm still trying to learn more and more. I think I'm, I've got it at some point where I, I can, you know, understand when it's too much now. Um, granted, sometimes it's just part of the the building, building the song process and then you remove stuff. But yeah, uh, I felt like in this case, I I didn't overdo uh, overdid it. Or do it. Do it. I, I feel like I didn't overdo it um, and it was just a special moment in the song just like in Strangers at the end this is kind of like towards the end where it's like the big crescendo part the yeah. big outro part um, and it it's just like it still vibes you know it's still like a good melody good acid line going there I like um, it it's like a producer taking a solo you know it's like yeah. I feel like you don't take you don't see that you know that's like, true live music you know I have like in whatever band I'm in a guitar player always takes a solo keys always takes a solo but like in yeah. recorded music I mean you'll hear that with <laughs> when it's you know recorded like live instruments and things like that but you don't really hear like oh let the producer take a solo that's so cool actually you know? I hadn't thought about that but it makes hella sense and um yeah i appreciate that i definitely like that's my that's my favorite song i think the other day i was thinking i think that's my favorite song of of my catalog at the moment not gonna lie like out of all the songs that i put out um that's strangers for me really yeah that's cool it's it's funny that it's one of like the songs where we've collaborated because mm -hmm. you know you have so much amazing music separately and so too. do you yeah and um it's funny that it that it's one where we both um worked on it together but I'm not surprised. I mean, they're good songs either they way. Are good songs. So, um, yeah, it's Solo Lover. And then, so, which, which one's your least favorite? <laughs> My least favorite is Loving is Easy. Really? Really. Wow. Okay, why? I think it's not that I dislike it, I mm -hmm. still like it, 
but that one for me is just the most far away from i think the genres that i grew up in and like things that i would choose to listen to on my own interesting okay i think the way so what type of house is that how do you classify that one well that one sounds more of more like a edm track like straight EDM. up edm yeah i think that's why because mm. like the other stuff has more mix of like you know solo lover is very jazzy and yeah um other things have mixed up like the the drum and bass the uk garage yeah yeah uh the r&b the stuff that's closer to what i grew up in like the r&b soul funk hip-hop blues it's just closer to that and yeah. i think that's the only reason why like loving is easy still goes hard it still hits and i could see like it's you know has a lot of plays on it so yeah um I definitely understand like why people like it. It's just the the furthest away from me. Yeah, well, you know what I what they told me, which is, I thought, well, wow, Who's that's they? insane. We're like <laughs> awesome compliment. One of my friends actually sent me a message. Let's see if I have it here, and I think it'll be it'll be nice if I show you this. Hold up, I don't know if I sent it. Um, yeah, so. So he sent me Loving is Easy, right? Like the mm -hmm. song. Okay. And then he says, this has gay anthem potential. Has what? Gay anthem potential. Gay anthem. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> so good. Oh man. And my pa personal favorite on the album. And then, dude, this album is great. You've outdone, out, outdone yourself. Um, Amazing. But yeah, I, thought, I was like, when when he saw it, when I, when I like I saw that it, guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Abdullah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it I, and I understand why, because um, this song is like so euphoric in a way, like the way that I interpret it and I hear it is like every yeah, time. It's a, it's, it's, but not, it's not it's not even the uns uns. It's more on the the chords of it. The dan 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 dan. Yeah, it's it's just like it, it's just so good. And then. Um, I think that the way you sang it, the, the melodies that you chose and that came to you were perfect to it as well. They just fit so good with those with those chords. And it's just, there's just something about it. Um, obviously, the lyrics too. Yeah, of like, course. You know? Um, I also think that one, maybe this is another reason. Now I'm thinking back on it. I feel like, because Loving Is Easy was our first song that we did. It was like, I think in, that was the first one we released, but we had that one done before a lot of other ones, I think, mm -hmm. right? And... I yeah. think we just started to be more intentional about our lyrics and our songwriting. Oh, yeah. Whereas, like, Loving is Easy, the lyrics are good, but they're not as intricate. Yeah, yeah, for or sure. Or as, as special, I think, as the other songs are. Yeah, makes sense. It's it's more of a straight to the point, yeah. like, love song. Yeah. Um, easy to digest, easy yeah, to listen easy to. Yeah, easy words. Yeah, just, like, e just easy. Just easy to digest <laughs> and, and easy to remember. Easy to like, love. <laughs> yeah, easy to love. That's it. It's easy to love. I get it. I get it. And that makes sense. Totally, totally valid point. Um, What's your soul? My, so, my least favorite one it's i mean it's it's hard because obviously i we love them all of them. yeah for sure um but let me see which one i guess hmm. uh, i mean maybe great From beyond home? really yeah I don't know. I, I I still really like it, but if I had to choose one, maybe Great Beyond, just because, um, it, it's that's the UK Garage one, um, okay. right? That's the the one with the two step mm -hmm. drums, which is which is super super fun, and the chorus was so good too. Um, I'm trying to see. I don't know if it's maybe because we had that that issue when when we put it out that the original mix was that I had to change it. Remember? That's true. That yeah, we had a lot of issues with that song. Yeah, um, had to remaster it at the last second, um, and I don't know. It kind of kind of got tainted for me, I guess, in that in doing that. Okay. And but not in a, like not like tainted that I can't listen to it. Like right. It's it's, it's just like, the experience. No, I I feel that too because I actually like. After you re-uploaded it and it was all good, I like kind of refrained from listening to it. Nah, no way. I was a little mad at that song. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying. I was mad at it and like, yeah. And then I started like rethinking of it. Oh, this could have been better. I could have done this mm. better because it's like, damn, we we really just uploaded, put out the album, and yeah, like secret, we had to delete everything. And Vix, I mean, of course, he figured it out. 
but uh, thank you, of course. Um, yeah, oh, that, that song gave us trouble, and then uh, we had yeah. some. Um, uh, thankfully, like about it. We, we fi- like we fixed it instantly. Like, and the remix is out. Take it higher. Yeah, Let's that's a uh, interesting. Also, track um, definitely not my style. The sped up stuff, but I can see the value in it, and I see you know people. Some people love it. Right. Um, and you know, I recognized that it is a thing in the dance music community, um, and you know, people are are, are loving that. I think, yeah. So, I mean, now that you're saying that, I think it's cool because it also adds another layer of like, okay, there's like this genre too now. Yeah, you know? actually, yeah. yeah it's like right. another, you know, because when I first heard it, I was like, it's not really my style, but mm-hmm. I think I I like when my voice is like changed. <laughs> I know you do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, make it lower. Do this, do that, or yeah. pitch it up and, you know, like just play around with it. So I don't mind that. I think it's cool to hear myself that way. Interesting. Okay. Because I'm so much less critical. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. It's because not like, like, oh, that note's flat. Yeah, you know, no. like you know, I'm not like so crazy about it. Cool. Um, I love that you said that. Now it, it adds another style. Literally, yeah. yeah, we could put out a deluxe album and include those like um, sped up versions, and it'll mm-hmm. add more to the to the legend of the album. You exactly. know what I'm saying? That's awesome. Um, We're figuring out a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I swear joke. to God. Um, so, with that being said, you just mentioned right now that you love your voice. Um, you know, like being warped and, and whatnot. Um, how about that? I'm not trying to be your girl remix. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I also really love that one. I love that one. I too. love that one too. I was li- I was listening to that earlier. I mean, I love them all, but I think that one is so cool, especially when you sent that to me. I was like, damn, this is like, this sounds like a selection song. So um, I love selection. If you're, if you all are not aware, selection is like, a, I don't know, music collective kind of uh, DJ yeah. Joe K. And he always handpicks really great music, um, just vibey music, you know, and literally. And, it's it's soul it's r&b it's dance it's hip-hop you know it's it's everything that i really love and i was like oh this this feels like that you know and it just felt so good and to just hear my voice like you would never guess it was me yeah yeah no i remember i sent it to my sister and she listened to it and she like didn't realize she's like oh i didn't hear you on there i was like but you did (laughs) (laughs) but you did actually it's a a song we've released previously it's called on the low (laughs) yeah i guess you didn't know the lyrics girl (laughs) (laughs) no but um it's 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 a fun one um that one was I, i remember like doing the beat and it was just this Again, trying to be weird, trying to be different, trying to do some like random stuff. I wanted to do the reggaeton drums and the um, like see what I could mesh with with like reggaeton because uh, I, I was feeling the some reggaeton songs like at that moment specifically and the lazy, the lazy tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, ah, I'm gonna try and do something with that. And then when the vibe was set, when I got those chords, the the drums and everything, I was trying to look for a vocal and I was like, wait, I have a, I have some, some vocals in the bank, you know, in the vault and we'll see what happens. And yeah, that's when I put your voice there and then lowered it like a seven semitones or something. It was, it sounded completely different, but yeah, I know you, cool. I know you like that. So I do. <laughs> um, and I then, enjoy it. And then, yeah, um, at the end, again, another craziness, like, I guess, producer solo at the end. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help yep. myself. <laughs> producer solo. I like it. You're like, yeah. that's all thing. You yeah. Look at that, man. I don't know. I, I think it's it's pretty cool now that you said it like that. Uh, okay, I so. come up with, like, a good name for that. I'll yeah. get back to you. Yeah, please. Um, so, I actually, okay, so describe each song with, like, one word or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just. That's good. Okay. Whatever comes to mind first, when I I'll tell you the name and you and you tell me something that comes to mind. To describe the to song. describe the song, or if it just like takes you somewhere, or whatever whatever pops into your mind. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna go right after me? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, one you'll one. you'll do it okay. back. Yeah. Um, solo lover. Tropical. Cool. Zodiac. Fun. Okay. That's a terrible reaction. <laughs> can do that one again. We can come back to it. <laughs> Complicated. 
um, melodic. Mm. Lions dance. Relax. Okay. Loving is easy. Club jam. Okay. Great beyond. Introspective. Okay. Strangers. Real. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to be your girl. Exploratory. Okay. All right. I like a Zodiac. <laughs> uh, Zodiac. Feel good. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I need to do this again. That sucked. All right. Go. <laughs> Let me see if I can come up with something. Okay. Solo lover. Solo lover is um, pink. Zodiac. Caribbean. Complicated. Um, festivals. Lions dance. Um, uh, soulful. Loving is easy. Uh, definitely purple or euphoria. Interesting. You receive them so differently. Yeah. Okay. Uh, great beyond. Aliens. Strangers. Um, strangers. Uh, uh, I don't have a good one for this one. Um, interesting. I was thinking like black gripping who oozing out of a wall. Oh wow. I just got that now that you're in the top of colors. Okay. Yeah. Um not trying to be a girl. Um experimental. Okay. That's cool, huh? That's it. I like that it. Was I like awesome. it. I like it. I like your answers. Very yeah, good. I mean just trying to see whatever. Very you know. good. Um, okay, so what was the most challenging song to make? Lion's Dance. Yeah, definitely, right? <laughs> Yeah, we worked on that one a lot. I think we rewrote that three times, and the yeah, the stories were just totally different every time. And then when we finally like settled on, well, it's about a hungry lion. Um, if you weren't aware, a hungry lion <laughs> yeah. who needs to eat some food. That's what it's about. But it could certainly be interpreted as otherwise. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we rewrote that one a couple times, and then it was like. You reproduce it a couple times too. Definitely, yeah. So that that was a bit of a challenging song. That was a that one took us the longest. Yeah, it took us the longest. Um, and uh, that's interesting because it was both rewritten and reproduced a couple times. Mm -hmm. So, um, I would agree with you on that one. The hardest one to make. I I'm happy with the result though. Me too. It's I love the way your voice sounds on that one. It's very interesting. Very um, like it's different from how you usually sing for sure. But um, remember that when you were you were trying to sing it, and there, a couple times when you sung it, you were like trying to go to the to how you usually sing. Yeah, like more belty, uh -huh. more soulful, less airy is what he means. Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I was like, tr try to be more airy, like you know, try to try to sing this way, because like the the vision that i had for the, for the for that instrumental with your voice was like like that you know it was i don't know i felt like that's where it needed to go and i i, I loved how it came it, out i mean it makes also thinking about it like now it makes sense with the story right so like if you're a lion mm -hmm. you're going to be creeping up quietly true you know so like me just coming in there like in my like in my chest voice like boarded a plane instead of like boarded a plane yeah definitely it's very different and like that's just an example of because I sing live a lot, uh, I gig a lot, and I'm like a musician, working musician as well, yeah. as an artist, and I'm always used to like singing like that for the most part um, in a live setting, and it's very different when you're recording. So yeah. that's something that like I consciously work on, and I consciously have to like change my approach when it comes to like okay, sing airy, sing airy, don't sing like that. Yeah, um, it's uh, so interesting that you said it about the comparing the lion stalking very much more quietly like that um, everything's versus... starting to make sense <laughs> i love when that happens i love when that happens it's just like sometimes i've seen this so much but you create stuff and it's connected but you make the connections way later you can only connect the dots looking backwards <sighs> hindsight is 2020 you know what they say but 
I love when that happens because I don't know. It's it's such a such a nice thing. It just like confirms that it needed to happen and everything makes sense, you yeah. know. Yeah. So amazing. Um. So let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Which song do you feel like resonates the most with the people? Um, what song do I feel like resonates the most with people? With the general public. With the general public. Hmm. So I think I'm. I just am gonna base it on my experience yeah. of performing it. Yeah. Um, I've gotten really great feedback on strangers. Yeah. Because people just relate to it, and like you said, it can be performed in many different ways. Um, I've performed it acoustically a couple times. We performed it as well. You know, like. Um, with all the production behind it um, and people can just relate to that and I think also because just the way that I sing it it's really um, authentic and genuine because that song came from you know something that was happening in my life so I think that one resonates with a lot of people um, let's see I mean that's a fair answer yeah I think I'm just gonna go with that yeah yeah yeah, yeah absolutely I think um, I think I agree to a certain point with that. Um, if, in my perspective, if I see like thinking about the general public, um, actually, the reason I'll give this answer is because I've seen it through the ads that were were <laughs> running <laughs> yeah. for the album. But solo lover, I was just gonna like say, that was my other thought. Yeah, it just like caught on. Basically, eliminated all the other songs. And it's the only ad, kind of, kind of the only ad running, mm. um, because it outperformed all the other. And I put one for each song, and it just whoop, the one. It all the, went to soul over. Yeah, people were resonating most, so the algorithm did its thing and threw the other ones, and it's just been running on that. Interesting. Um, and I can see it as well. I mean, it's super catchy. Yeah, man, it's a super nice song. Great. Yeah. Just it feels good. It's just you know, yeah, it warms your body. Definitely. Uh, what's your, uh, what's your favorite instrumental? Hmm. I'm thinking about all the songs in my head. I think I'm going to have to go with not trying to be a girl. I knew it, yeah. Because when you <laughs> sent that to me, I was like, this is juicy and, <laughs> and awesome and strange. And like, it's just like so out there, but also so well put together. Mm. And it was just we got like some inquiry, I think, about it, and and what they said was I forgot, I forgot exactly <clears throat> what the person said, but commented on it, um, and said like it was very vibrant and like they, they colorful, was, colorful, yeah, it was colorful. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, it was colorful and vibrant, and it totally is. It, yeah, yeah, that's you can listen to that one like with no lyrics, and you'd be great. Mm, interesting. Um, yeah, I, I I agree with that. Yeah. Um, just trying to like go over them real yeah, quick. Scan the rest see. of them. Uh, but up, 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 up. I think Solo Lover also. I'd love. It would be really yeah. nice to listen to on its own. Yeah, but you know which one I also like really love the instrumental for Zodiac. Mm. It's the. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a great one. Yeah, the break part is super cool too. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite lyric? The favorite, like... Line? Line. One-liner. <laughs> yeah, just... Drrr, scan through all... <laughs> that I might notebook. need a minute or two for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's my favorite one-liner? Okay, not trying to be your girl. is. Basically on the low. Yeah, no, I'm going to not do that one because that one has another... That one comes from another song. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of mine as well. Yeah. I'm going down the list. Um, Let's see. I think one of them, I mean, that I can think of right now, I feel like I have so many, but I was listening yeah. to it the other day and I was like, that was really nice. Like, that was a really nice line and the way it was set up. Yeah. Um, can't you feel my frequency every time that my heart beats around you? Oh, uh, yeah. Solo lover. Yeah. Can you feel my Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like... Yeah. Can't you feel my frequency? Yeah. Every time that my heart beats around, around you. Yeah. 
called Oh Love. <laughs> Definitely. That was really pretty. It is, for sure. Just like it's one sentence. I don't know. But yeah. It takes a long time. <laughs> no, no, but it's cool. It's yeah. cool. I like that. Um, I think for me, um, damn, I, I, I already know my second one. Go ahead. Yeah. I, it's one in complicated. Um, but since, since like I didn't write, write the song, can't. Is it verse or chorus? It's like uh verse? Pr probably verse. Yeah, definitely verse because it's not like all the nights we're gonna spend. It's um, like um, I really love and hate you. Ah, I'm, uh, I'm sick and tired, tired of playing. playing. This love is infinite. infinite I'll figure eight it. it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That one is sick. Yeah, this love is infinite. I'll figure eight it. Because you'd like, well, thank you, thank you. figure eight it. Oh, yeah. And the infinity sign, like, uh -huh, the infinity sign and eight sideways. Mm -hmm. That one was, like, such a sick line. I was like, wow. That's cool. Also, so, yeah. I, I can't. This is like a, this is also a very good one. In Strangers, mm -hmm. um, Echoes of My Loneliness Keep Following My Trail. Yeah. Very poetic. Yeah, that's cool. For sure. Poetic. Um,. Okay, let's see. D -d 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 -d. What are you currently listening right now? What sounds a robot? <laughs> I mean, I do listen to it a lot. Yeah, no, same. Um, I listen to a lot of I'm a piano, uh, Afro beats. Yeah. Um, I, as you know, I'm terrible with putting playlists together. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. So just whatever comes on shuffle, I just listen to what what's new that comes out. Uh, yeah, but like, so would you say Emma Piano is like something that you've found yourself listening to lately a lot, a lot, or um, is that? I mean, I've been listening to it for a, for a bit now. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I remember you telling me about. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is kind of tough for me because I kind of just listen to things at random i don't really put on playlists i'll put on like a new music friday playlist right it's like okay. it's all mixed genres so i don't really listen to music based on genre wow okay i mean sometimes i do but like if i'm in the house it's just like i'll let things play like randomly on shuffle that i have saved and like i'll do the thing on spotify where it's like just new songs for you so so you based when you're on what i like yeah basically if you're here um you'll you don't mind it, it going from edm all the way to jazz all the way to reggae to all the way from a song to song you don't mind that no that's that's interesting because like for me it's i'll i'll do it on genres i'll be like i feel like listening to reggae right now and i'll listen to reggae for an hour and a half stop what i'm doing whatever and then two hours later if i want to you know get back into music i will probably go and uh, let me listen to, to some hip-hop right now do it for one hour the other day is then i'll do dance i think that says a lot about us the way that we yeah. listen to our music because mine is all over the place and i feel like that's kind of how i think and like mm. my that's <laughs> very representative of my life <laughs> 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 and you're just very like structured and i have an hour to do this and i have an hour to do this wow, and i think facts. it's very representative of who you are that's true yeah <laughs> but that's that's cool that's a cool little find there yeah um i will listen to like though if i just want to put something on and not have to worry about skipping yeah through, i'll put on selection radio yeah uh, that's on soundcloud or pick. complexion which is like a version of kind of a version of selection yeah that's interesting um what's the do you got an artist that's currently inspiring you the most at the moment hmm I don't think so. No? No. I just, I'm inspired by uh, people who just keep working on their craft, mm. you know? Uh, you know, especially like in the local community, just being an artist is it's not easy, especially if you're doing it full time. Yeah. Like, it's a tough, it's a tough, it could be, it can be a tough journey. Um, it is a tough journey. So, man. like, I admire the people who really just go for it and mm. continue on even if you have to take breaks and things like that because i think at the end of the day like my own goals with music have changed mm -hmm. so it's like as long as i just keep it moving like and going it's just like okay i'm i'm here to i'm kind of like just doing it for myself you know like yeah my next plan is to, like put out like a more like soul neo soulish yeah out like ep or something yeah yeah, but, yeah, yeah. um 
I mean, I'm always inspired by people who do things that are kind of like out of the box, like uh, Same. Brent Fias, you know, I love him. Okay. Uh, I love how he's done like kind of interesting drops, just like drop stuff on Dropbox, like a couple songs, yeah. you know, and kind of just wrote it on his Twitter and, you know, things like that that are out of the box. I, I enjoy Yeah, I, I feel you. I, I agree with, with everything you said. What um, about you, though? Artists that you're um, inspired by? I'm trying to think overall. Because... Um, yeah, m like musically, I always try to have as references the people who try different things as well. Right. Um, I mean, I feel like that's us, right? Do you feel like what? For, for me, for me, it's us. Like. Yeah, yeah, but that, we're because, doing like, that. What, we, because, right, because I we was so that. out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. to do the whole project. And, like, that inspired me. Like, your consistency and the way that you go about music is inspirational to me right so like i see that in you and i see that in other people because sometimes i get caught up in life and i i'm not as consistent as i mm. plan to be yeah 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 well i mean you're gonna definitely have time for that now moving yeah. forward yeah but you still been able to to you know kill it like you've done some amazing stuff either way thank you and um obviously you know i'm super excited to continue listening to what it, what you got to show the world yep. um i know that we will be working together um 100%. more um who knows at one point maybe we do a follow-up album you know you never know never know um but i mean uh, creating this album has been such a wonderful experience um for me i really appreciate you and the your artistry your craft what you put into it Thank you. um you as a collaborator with amazing such a good experience um which I can say I'll, the same. I'll tell you it's it's hard out there in the music industry <laughs> artists are funny people <laughs> yeah you'd be surprised sometimes um the we're things, a strange breed <laughs> yeah the things that you would see in the in the industry but um you know thankfully it was such a such a blessing and such a good time right. that um you know obviously made me want to continue working with you and super excited about about this to keep growing and keep finding new people um you know keep connecting with others uh, i'm super happy whenever i see messages um especially a lot of them come from from the ads that that we're running um people find it there they leave comments in the um in the ads or sometimes they they like leave comments on the youtube videos or whatnot and it's and it's some nice nice things to say We've definitely had some a couple haters. Um, Wait, how yeah. come you didn't tell me this? I need to. I need to go look. Or maybe well, I shouldn't. Uh, yeah. I, it's, what are the haters saying? It's um, it's like like three or four. I can't remember right now, but I remember um, like reading them, and I was like, that's fine. The one of the um the signs that you're that you're growing is once you start having haters. Um, We're doing something right. Yeah, li literally, and I was like hell yeah you know Listen, like yeah there's people there's people because it's just you're not gonna conform to everybody you know it's like, not for everybody it's definitely it definitely isn't um but i was like okay yeah this means we're we're on to something like you still listened and you still took the time to leave a comment yeah like do you really hate it that much yeah you took all that time to leave a comment and listen to it yeah and it's it's amazing because to me like because there's these all these other comments that are completely the opposite and obviously it's a, much more like this yeah, is a, 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 a couple but um but yeah it it's, it is what it is it's not it's not for everybody but i'm super happy with what we made i i like it you like yes, it i love it exactly we love it um and that's what's important at the end of the day and to create music that you love exactly to hear um that's I, that's the thing i do want to talk about or just mention what complicated it is about i think maybe yeah. this is a good time oh yeah definitely because we didn't talk about that yeah um, yeah, yeah yeah go ahead <laughs> we're talking about you know we love music so much and things like that oh also i don't know if you thought of an artist that is like inspira inspirational oh, to man, you. i got like many but go ahead and talk okay. about complicated no worries complicated <clears throat> excuse me you would think it's a i mean kind of a, it's a kind of a love song but it's about our very complicated relationship with music and like being an artist. That's what it's about. That was the inspiration for this song. We're totally talking about our relationship with music because it's complicated. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, it's um, 
if you now go and listen to it with those with those fresh new years knowing what's it about it's such a a cool thing because the chorus changes from the first chorus to the second chorus on the action of the verb um like on the first one is all the nights we what was it couldn't spend no yeah it was more like negative like everything we couldn't do together and everything that didn't work and uh -huh. then in the second one it was much more hopeful like all the nights we're gonna spend all yeah the time, future we're gonna, it's positive you know, we're gonna because we're just gonna keep doing it even yeah. though it's been quite the journey yeah like music makes me so and, and just the journey like yeah i love it i've been doing it for so so long um and sometimes it makes me so frustrated, but I also know that I can't live without it. Literally. I that's, that's love, I guess. That's real love, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's complicated. It's, it's what it is. Um, and I think that with that being said, it's I saw I saw a video um, today which really resonated to me and basically said that the joy is to create music and that should be the purpose. The purpose should be to create and and, and find joy in doing that ignore ignoring and cutting out all the noise that they've made you believe because nobody goes into the music industry saying oh i'm gonna go in to make money i'm gonna do music definitely not to make money everybody goes in with this naive innocence of like wow i love music i love making i i, I love uh what i listen to how did this this guy or this girl made this that's so fucking pretty i wish i could do it and then you start practicing and you start going with in with the curiosity to fill your heart, you know? And yep. it's, that's where, where it should stay, you know? Obviously you grow and the the other things should like be secondary. Like, hey, if money comes, money will come around it, right. uh, awards, whatever you want, that that is secondary, but it should never be your main principle, um, like measure of success right. at like, all. Music is something that you have to go into prepare to invest in yourself like yeah you have to be prepared to spend money to gather resources mm -hmm. you know you have to be prepared to do that um it's just that kind of industry you know definitely you, you have to spend the time and and money if you want like certain things out of it and visibility and stuff like that and don't pay to play anyone don't pay to play yeah but isn't it but. crazy how like everybody starts with that like <clears throat> you go into it with like love right that it's like you love music right and you go into it saying like oh, i want to see what i can make and stuff like that and as soon as you start getting a little bit of like i, I want to say success but you know that you're getting better at making it and you start thinking about oh maybe i can do this as a career whatever the money part it just like <laughs> comes in and like yeah. it just kind of like muddles or, or muds the 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 whole thing it i don't know i don't know it's 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 crazy to just think about that it's a rough industry that's for sure um i mean there's definitely things that you could go into if you really decide that you love music so much and you know you want to make a career out of it there's that definitely things you can go into and like teaching production and stuff like that but as far as just you know being an artist on the journey to try and live off of that alone it's, it's gonna be tough tough it's you gotta it's tough you gotta prepare yourself for deception um disappointment yeah. uh a lot of negative stuff being but, your own everything yeah like booking manager doing all your social stuff unless you you know can hire somebody to do those things for you um Men it's, it's a one person show your mental health will take a toll a lot of times when you don't when things don't happen as the way you thought they should happen right um be prepared to spend a lot of time analyzing and seeing like what what did, did it disconnect whatever but at the end of the day you should make music for yourself first and foremost you know you love it because it fulfills something yeah. inside of you or because you can express yourself that way exactly it's expressing yourself and Form of with all those sure. negative things that we said there's a lot of positives of, as well like of course a music lot. brings so many people together definitely you know like music is a is a force it's like the kitchen you know the kitchen brings people together food brings people yeah. together like music is a force and it's a universal language and there's something so beautiful about it you know there's so many great things like yeah i don't know one thing that i really love i guess about music is not only it allows me to be vulnerable and 
expressive and share my life experience and create impact in an in a artistic way. Um, but like just experiencing music, something I really enjoy is listening to music in other languages that I don't understand. That's cool. Because I just get to experience this. I, I It's just a sound. Like yeah. It's just a sonic experience versus like I'm picking away at lyrics and understanding yeah. if I like them or not. It's not that. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's just a sound. And I think that's a really beautiful way to experience music. <laughs> it is. It is for sure. Um, anyways, I think that that was a, that's a good note to, to finish this off, but yeah i think i think that <laughs> it's amazing what we did and i'm super super happy with it and thank you for you know going on this journey with me thank you for everything it's been yeah. great and i can't wait to continue creating more in the future yeah same likewise what was that line again uh His love is infinite i'll figure eight it i'll figure eight it yes so lame vix out, out. <laughs>